If 4 to the 4x power equals 1600, what is the value of this weird thing squared? Okay, the first thing I notice is these are 4 and 16, so they're both squares, they're both even. And the next thing I notice is, you know, why is it asking me what is this thing squared? Why is it not just asking me what is the value of x? Um, you know, there's there's something in parentheses squared. So the first thing I would think of, well, if it's asking me what is something squared, then can I make this look more like this? In other words, can I rewrite this left-hand side and this right-hand side so that they have squares on both the left and right, just like it is here? So let's take a look at what we can do with this. And so when I look at this, like I said, uh, I say, wait a minute, there's, you know, they're all numbers, they look even, they're squares, you know, the 4 and 16, um, you know, obviously 16 is 4 squared, and then, um, and I noticed that there was a squared power on this side. So what we're trying to do here is, how do we make this, which is right here, look more like something squared equals something squared. That way it'll look more like what we're trying to look for is this weird thing squared. So how do we do that? Well, you can look at this and be like, okay, 16 is 4 squared. Well, what if you added a 0? 4, 0, 40, 40 squared. Well, the 4 squared would become 16. And then the 0, you would have to add another 0, so that would become 1,600. So 1,600, the square root of this, is easily just 40. So 40 squared is the same as 1,600. And then, so how do we get, a, how do we make this 4 to the 4x look more like something squared? Well, that would just be 4 to the 2x squared. Because you know 2x, when you have exponents, you just multiply them together. So 2x times 2 is 4x. Or you could have just done 4x divided by 2 is 2x. So then you put the 2x inside, and then you still have the squared on the outside. So basically, you just reduce this expression right here down to something that looks more like this. And that's more similar to what what is the value of this thing squared. OK, so what do we do now? Well, we can just cancel out the exponents and just get 4 to the 2x equals 40. OK, well, that's good, but that's not exactly what we're looking for. Well. Wait a minute, 4 to the 2x, 4 to the, if you multiply this 2x over there, if you multiply that, this out, it might be something closer to what we're looking for. So 4 to the 2x minus 2. Okay, that would be changing this expression to 4 to the 2x minus 2. Now wait a minute, this is almost like this, except there's a minus 2 there. Well, what do you know about exponents? When Whenever you have something to the x minus y, that's the same thing as that something to the x power divided by that something to the y power. Now in this example it would basically be well this is the same as 4 to the 2x and then instead of minus 2 you would just say divided by 4 to the positive 2. So this expression right here is exactly the same as this one right here. So wait a minute, 4 to the 2x, that's, we already know that, 4 to the 2x is 40. So 40 divided by 4 squared, you know that's 16. 40 divided by 16, well, you know, this one, you can divide it by 8. 40 divided by 8 is 5. 16 divided by 8 is 2. And you get 5 halves, which is 2.5. So then, we basically change this up 4 to the x minus 1 all squared that became 4 to the 2 x minus 2 which is right here and then we just simplified this knowing that 4 to the 2 x equals 40 this became 2.5 so this entire expression this fancy expression got reduced all the way down to 2.5 and then you scroll down your answer choices there you have it 5 halves 2.5 So in this case, answer D, 5 halves, is the answer. Now, as a recap, we basically looked at this 
and we said, okay, well, this is some weird expression. We noticed they're all multiples of four, they're all even, and they all look like they could be square rooted. You know, 1600, you know, any hundred can usually be easily be square rooted. Um, and then it asks you, what is the value of something squared? Well, it's asking you something kind of awkward, but if you can make this original equation look more like the expression, which is a square, then it's easier to work with. So it turns out you can reduce this by just reducing this, the power of 4x down to 2x, squaring it, and then square rooting this thing, making it 40, and then squaring that. And then once you do that, you can cancel out the squares, and then you're left with 4 to the 2x equals 40. Now, this isn't exactly what you're looking for, but it turns out it's one of the terms of what you're looking for. And the other term being 4, four to the uh, negative 2, which is basically 1 over 4 squared, right? That means it goes on the bottom. So that 16, that becomes 16, and your original 40 goes here, and you get 5 halves. So that's how I look at this problem, and hopefully you can pick up some tips here where you can think through questions in a faster way and get to the final answer of D, 5 halves.